Hey yo captains, how is it going my fellow aviators? So a couple of weeks ago I uploaded a video which explained how much it costs to start an airline. Well we've got Costa Rican Airways set up so that's all good. And if you don't remember, here's our wonderful yet amazing and cheesy advert <laughs> that we made in the other video. Are you ready to kick off your summer holiday? Fly to San Jose from Tampa from just £480. Pack your bags, your sunglasses and your camera because it's time to fly with Costa Rican Airways. Oh my god, I can't believe I had to show that again. That gives me nightmares. <laughs> Anyways, we bought a 737 400 for just over £5 million. Plus, we have some expenses for refurbishment. And in total, our initial cost came to £5.8 million. However, these don't include airport slots, maintenance and salaries, as these can be paid as the airline develops. Also, I'd like to give a shout out to Mark for creating this awesome livery you're seeing on screen. Also guys, we're hiring for a captain on our planes. If you have the qualifications, then comment me and we'll choose someone from random. Anyways, this video will be focusing on the maintenance, the salaries and any other operating expenses. Now labour and fuel are our largest expenses after buying the aircraft, accounting for 12% of our costs. Now a pilot salary begins around £30,000 and caps around £150,000. Now we'll need 17 tonnes of fuel to get to Tampa from San Jose, however we also need 7 tonnes of reserve fuel, so that's 24 tonnes of fuel but only 17 tons per journey as the reserve fuel can be used on the return journey with a top up of trip fuel. And this is under 10 tons. Now according to Miami Air, a small airline like Costa Rican Airways, it costs around £3,680 per hour to operate the 737400, including the initial purchase cost of the aircraft. This includes £1,000 in crew, £1,600 in fuel, and £87 in insurance with a few miscellaneous costs. In total, our 3 hour flight will cost around £11,000 of in-flight costs. Now there are multiple rules, regulations and procedures that account for the increase in flight expenditure. Normally pilots are limited to 8 hours of continuous flying and must have a mandatory rest period of 10 hours or 14 hours for multi-time zone flights. This means that 3 to 5 alternate pilots per plane are required for long international flights. However, this doesn't apply to us since we'll be doing domestic and sometimes regional flights. Now other airport rules such as taxi procedures, takeoff, approach and landing procedures are all factors into the cost of the flight. For example, extended approaches can increase the flight time resulting in higher costs. At Heathrow Airport there are 4 holding stacks that act as waiting rules for flights adding time and fuel burn for the flight. And once flights are clear to begin landing procedure for Heathrow, they follow a 29 mile approach path. Obviously operating an airline is very expensive, however there are multiple ways airlines can increase revenue. We can charge more for business class seating, extra baggage, online check-in, in-flight amenities and much more. The average airline's operating cost equates to 90% of the total revenue, so each passenger will make a difference in our airline. Now captains, I want you to share what you think regarding the operations of our airline. If there's anything you think we're missing and should be included, then let us know in the comments below. Remember to check our Discord server guys, give the video a like if you enjoyed it, and consider subscribing, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.